So what I want to do is show all the different ways you can introduce samples into a V10 touch. And the most basic way is you just take a vial, you put, you put your reaction products in it, and we've got this card that's really handy for the job. You just want to make sure that the vial you're using isn't, doesn't have more in it than what's shown in the graphics. And then you look on the back, and the same card tells you which program to use. And in this particular case, I have methanol. So I look up methanol, and I use the volatile method. Right. So what we do, you just simply set the vial there. Make sure, get to the main screen of the V10 Touch. You press, press volatile, or the, the method, and just make sure volatile is selected. It was already selected on this one. Also, just make sure that you've got the right vial size. And once that's all set, you just hit evaporate. This reminds you to do what we already did, which is check to be sure where we've got the right amount filled into the vial, and then press start. And if you can watch here, you'll see the vial start coming up, and then it spins. So it's getting toward the end of the run now. We're in the drying step. And what it's been doing is it took it down to uh, a very low pressure, in this case, five millibar. Uh, currently, the temperature is at 35 degrees C, and um, we're just waiting for the final drying to finish. And you'll see here in just a moment, it's going coming down to zero, and now you can uh, hear it begin to equalize pressure. What it's doing is it's allowing air back into the vial. And you can see the vial coming down now. So now you can see, after just a few minutes, all the material that was in the um, reaction product vial is now just dried to the side.